Hello everybody and welcome to this video, the first of a series of videos from the Audacious Northwest Coding Experience brought to you by Google CS4HS. The purpose of these videos is to teach you a little bit about JavaScript and in order to do that we are going to be using a product that's called Thimble uh, from Mozilla and you can get to it it's at thimble.mozilla.org. I'm already there and I've already logged in so I'm going to begin by creating a new project and in a moment I'll see a template the screen divides into several different parts up here I can name my project I'll just call this my first project on the left hand side I see all the files that constitute the web page in this case I just have one HTML page and one CSS cascading style sheet page in the middle I've got an editor where I can change the look of the page and on the right hand side I've got a preview so I can see what the page is actually going to look like. Since we want a program in JavaScript we're going to need a JavaScript file so I click under new file and choose add JavaScript file and the file that gets created here it is called script.js I could rename that if I wanted to and it already has some content we'll go ahead and delete it and start from scratch. So JavaScript is a text-based language. It consists of a series of statements and each statement is performed one after another. We're going to write a small program here. The first thing I'm going to do is create a variable and I'm going to call this variable name and a variable is simply a container that can store uh, different types of data. In order to get something into name I have to assign it a value and I could hard code the value here but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user so I'm going to use a prompt please enter your name and as a result of this a dialogue will appear and whatever the person types in the text field will be assigned stored in in name and the last thing I'm going to do in this program this is going to be a pretty short program is I'm going to display the result so I'll say something alert please to meet ya and let's do it like this so there is a complete JavaScript program now the code is such that it will execute as soon as uh, it is encountered however it's not going to be encountered at this point until we do something differently here we have to add a what's called a script tag and the script tag can be used to load a, uh, a JavaScript file so we'll simply say the source is going to be script.js and now as soon as I complete it Thimble is, is uh, on the job and it says please enter your name I will go ahead and do that and then we get a result so ta-da we have finished our first JavaScript program come back to the next video uh, where we will be doing something even more exciting with JavaScript